see what they've got. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another like Destiny video and today I'm going to give you guys my recommendations of what you should you spend your legendary marks on come the 4th of July. My birthday, I'm getting old, uh, but happy 4th of July. Absolutely everybody who celebrates it watching this video. Uh, but yes, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start with the Crucible Quartermaster. Let's see if he has anything decent this week. In fact, it actually does, because I've already looked. Yeah, yes. um, okay, so the Zero Day Dilemma could be quite a decent weapon. Now, it's not often he brings uh, decent rolls to this thing, but when he does, they're normally quite good. This week, we have an encounter balance, a uh, Brave Train, or Appended Mag, and Focus Fire, which is what you'd want to go with. I'd probably go with Focus Fire. Appended mag and counterbalance because counterbalance is the best ability perk in the game. Yes, although brace train would help it a little, it reduces magazine size down to about about not about 15, maybe even less than that. Uh, so yes, go with appended mag because focus fire as well because it slows down the weapon's fire rate. Um, it, it it recoils less obviously, so that paired with counterbalance and appended mag would be the way forward to go with this weapon, it really would. So the zero day dilemma this week could be a decent weapon. I'm actually pick this up and try it out uh, because I'm loving my auto rifles at the minute. Um, what else did we have this week? Uh, the party favour this week, it looks good but when you click into it, we have reduced magazine size, which you can't get away from with both these perks, even though we've got on it Outlaw and Rangefinder, which is great. Shaman got handlaid stuck, but yeah, it's ruined by the magazine size uh, drop, which I think takes it down to again about 15, which is just a couple pulls of the trigger and this thing's empty, which is pointless. Don't waste your marks there, people. Do not waste your marks there. Uh, I don't think anything else here was that great. The Palindrome, no, 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 no. Um, the Hero Formula. Uh, what did we have on it? Oh yes, we got Icarus, Perfect Balance and Return to Sender. But yes, I've had that a perfect roll and it's still not that great. So yes, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to switch to Vanguard and hopefully we have something there for us to take a look at too. Okay, guys, so we're at Vanguard and to be honest, this week there's only one weapon even worth considering and it isn't even a... Well, it's not a perfect roll at all, but it could be one that could be quite busy, just like the Zero Day Dilemma. On it we have Persistence, we have Perfect Balance or Pended Mag, and we have Focus Fire. The weapon obviously is the Continental, the Vanguard Auto Rifle. Um, but yeah, it's actually a beastly weapon, it really is. I've actually got one of these and I absolutely tear things apart with it in PvP. It doesn't have Focus Fire on it though, but it does have three stability perks. Um, I'm not sure how this will perform on this weapon. But it could be quite good. It really could. I may pick this up, guys, and do a review on it before. So don't purchase it yet. Just wait for that video. Uh, but definitely keep it in mind. Because it could be quite decent. But yeah, nothing else here even worth mentioning, to be honest. Um, oh, actually, 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 Teacup Tempest. I forgot about that. I forgot about Teacup Tempest. What am I thinking? Okay, on it, we've got Reactive Reload, Fitted Stock, uh, Casket Mag, and Outlaw, or Cascade. Um, with True Sight, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw. Uh, beastly ass um, sidearm it really is with reactive reload as well and extended mag basically which is what you want because it's only got 11 bullets in its clip um, with reactive reload it's pretty pointless um, but yes when it goes up to about 16 reactive reload will prop destroying faces instantly amazing um, but yes guys uh, that is it for Vanguard nothing else the way in my opinion we're gonna head to dead orbit and see if they've got anything to offer this week Okay, this week right. at Dead Orbit, people, there is, there's nothing here. <laughs> there's nothing you worth your time um, spending your marks on. I mean, nothing great at all. The Extreme Fire 011 or the Pedophile 011, as I call it. And we've got Persistence, Perfect Balance, and High Caliber Rounds, which is great. It's good, but I'm sure you've picked this up as it's come with a perfect roll in the past. But if not, it's probably worth your time checking out. I mean, uh, two stability perks with high caliber rounds or quick draw. This is a great, great weapon. I've got it, I've used it quite often in PvP and it's quite decent to be honest. Um, and nothing else, nothing else here, nothing else here, in my opinion, worth your time checking out. So we're going to head over to Future War Call and hopefully this video improves weapon roll wise. Okay, so this week Future War Call has a couple of interesting items, um, and I say couple. Being spoken. Um, okay, so we have the waiting. If you're a fusion rifle type of person, the waiting this week isn't too bad. I mean, we've got heart swap, 
We've got a little bit of range with Hammer Forge, and we've got any accelerated coils or quick draw. Now, I've actually got this weapon. Um, it performs similar to the Saladin's Vigil, not quite as good in my opinion. The Saladin's Vigil is just by far the best uh, fusion rifle I've actually used in this game. I mean, you guys know, if you've watched any of my previous videos where I've actually obtained decent fusion rifles, you would have heard me say, I'm garbage with these. I've deleted perfect rolled fusion rifles because I've just been garbage with them. Picked up my Saladin's Vigil at my vault, used it in PvP and fell in love. I absolutely love that weapon. And I mean, I've got like a little kind of montage coming with me using it. Got some great clips, not gonna lie. Um, so stay tuned for that. So yes, slowly getting used to fusion rifles and the waiting is a decent one to try out. It really is. Um, what else did we have this week? Oh, the wounded. The wounded is not bad at all. I think we've got any Zen moment. We've got any hammer forged or outlaw. Armor piercing rounds or full auto with Red dot RA, we've got the range of lens and we've got the OEG rifle scope. So yes, it's actually a decent scout as well. Um, not many people use it, but it's quite, quite decent. It really is. So it might be worth your time checking out, guys. Uh, what else did we have? I don't think we had anything else, to be honest. Um, no, not really. I mean, the Wormwood's a beast of a sidearm, as we all know. You don't need me to keep telling you this. Uh, this week we've got any hidden hand. We've got any hand-loaded or Zen moment with... Armor piercing rounds and hip fire with true sight, a short shot, and quick draw. It's a beastly uh, sidearm with the worst roll, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, but we're going to go head over to New Monarchy now, which I'm not going to be surprised is just as garbage as what we've seen because New Monarchy every week brings bad, bad loot. But yes, I will resume the video when I get there. And as I thought, people, New Monarchy this week has absolutely nothing. Damn, oh damn, what a bad week today. for loot. Uh, the Assembly 2, we've got any um, Persistence, Perfect Balance, Fred Magwell, Snapshot, but it, need, it, just, it needs max stability to even consider using in PvP, it really does. But there's nothing here guys, there's nothing here. I mean this, okay, the first citizen, but how many heavies do you need really? How many heavies do you need really? If you've ever played PvP, we should probably suggest you using this in how many of the um unending delusions have you had which has got a perfect role because they drop so often for me which is one of the best pvp heavy machine guns in the game so yeah but you guys it's just been a bad bad week it really has and i apologize for that the 4th of july being a bad week what is going down what is going down but guys that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it thanks as always for stopping by subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy what you see and I also post daily Destiny videos, so you will never miss out on anything. Um, and I will see you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand. But you and I will carry on. We never get it right.